Thank you, Katie. The University of Evansville administration is changing its tune now over the academic realignment plan. The music department found a way to be self-sustained and will no longer be one of the departments cut through the proposed plan. I'm not going to lie, I mean, I cried some happy tears. I mean, I love it here. Rachel Taylor is a music therapy student who's finishing up her senior year. I didn't want to leave. Like, I was heartbroken to have to, like, put in, like, applications other places in case of her backup plans. When UE President Chris Petruskevich announced a draft academic realignment plan, which would eliminate the music department by the fall of 2022, Taylor and her peers were trying to find a way to graduate with their degree, but faculty members went to work to save the department. We got on phone, email, text right away, started figuring out what can we do to, to come up with a plan. They worked together to form the University of Evansville Music Conservatory, which will be self-sustained by increasing fundraising, bringing in new revenue streams, recruiting new students, and reducing costs through planned retirements. It is the most incredible news. Um, you know, it's been really chaotic. Even walking in today, like seeing like hip hip parade, like, you know, the signs and everything, we're all excited. I'm like, wow, I never thought I'd be celebrating this, but I'm glad I am, so. There was excitement in the air in UE's music classes after finding out that there will also be improvements to the music department. A year and a half ago, Wheeler Concert Hall, which was already pretty old and, and, and needing of a pretty significant facelift, uh, was seriously damaged from a water pipe burst. Now, Wheeler Concert Hall and the Cranert Hall of Art and Music Lobby is getting a $3 million renovation. Beautiful. Good. It was really nice just having clarity that everything was going to be okay. Almost every department that was set to be eliminated has submitted a plan similar to the music department. University of Evansville leaders say they are anticipating another similar announcement soon. We'll be watching. And tonight, live on In-Depth, Eyewitness News at 9 on the CW7, I'm joined by UE Provost Dr. Michael Austin to talk about how the university will, what it will do to pull this off. He is the Vice President of Academic Affairs. That's tonight on Eyewitness News at 9. New at 5, a proposed law.